buy the penny Yo, we always have spirit They can burn my flesh But they can't touch my spirit They won't take away my freedom How they gonna take away my spirit Hey guys, so welcome back to my channel. Excuse how bad I look right now. I am so, so, so excited because this has been my most requested video ever since I did my last makeup collection. So I'm so excited to finally be showing you how I've organized the makeup in my beautiful Alex Jules. Obviously, quick disclaimer, I'm not trying to brag or anything like that. Like, this video has been requested. You guys have been wanting to see this for literally about a year now. Also, if this is the first time that you have come across my channel, make sure you do hit that subscribe button. But yeah, here is my makeup collection 2017. Let's rock. Right, so on the top of my Alex drawers. So I'm just going to go through a couple of things that I have on top. First of all, at the back, I just have this glass sort of bottle thing. Along with these flowers as well. And then I tied a pink bow around it and then just keep it at the back and you can just see it and then at the front i have three of these ikea plant pots so in the back one i have my face brushes and i seem to be missing a lot of face brushes i just actually have no idea where they are but i have these really really nice rose gold ones from zoe like, these are my favorite brushes i use them all the time and then yeah obviously the rest of real techniques which are also some of my faves and, and then in here are all my eye brushes you can see that i have accumulated quite a lot so quite a few of them are from Real Techniques. I have quite a few of the Zoeva um, Rose Gold collection. So this is the 322, 234 and the 226. And the rest of these brushes, so all the ones which have the rose gold and the pink, all of these ones are from Amazon. So, and these cost me what, like five pounds? And you get so many brushes and they are super, super soft and they're amazing at blending as well. So yeah, that's pretty much um, where I get all my eye brushes from. My lash colours and then the, these are from Isla and they definitely need a clean but... Oh no, these are not from Isla, they're from Ico. So yeah, they just go in there as well. And then I basically keep all my lip liners. Uh, Max Spice, which is like a new one I bought. And then I'll just go through a few of them. There's another MAC one, Primark ones. Um, I have quite a lot of the Kylie ones. So this one's like Candy K. Rimmel collection. Rimmel ones are also really good. Then over this side, I have my Mary Podesky Rose Water Face Spray. This is the biggest size and it was £14 from Beauty Bay. I have my Daisy Marc Jacobs perfume, which I don't really wear anymore but it just looks cute so I keep it there. On the back I have this little tin which was from Ikea and in here I just keep my uh, Kylie um, lip kit packaging because I think they are really cute and like I obviously want to keep them on display. So I just keep them in this little thing. And then I have my Tiffany and Co box from the necklace I bought. So in the first drawer, so this first drawer is full of all my face base product over here i have my foundation so i have one of my all-time favorites which is the ex1 foundation then i have my fenty beauty foundation i've been using this every day when i've been doing makeup so i'm gonna run out of this really quick but i absolutely love it and i have l'oreal true match which is also another fave george wear marnie luminous silk and can we just talk about how they completely match me to the wrong shade like i don't know if you can see the difference between these two colors but this one is so so light and i haven't even worn it on my face yet because it is so light so i'm gonna have to try and find a way to work that because i'm guessing i can't return it then underneath i just have a few more so there's a mac one there l'oreal revlon bourgeois rimmel and then like some bad ones at the back and then i also got this um ysl all hours the new foundation by ysl foundation sample which i'm gonna try out which looks a little bit light but i still do want to try it out and it smells super nice then in the front here i keep all my concealers so i have um maybelline anti-age rewind concealer i have Urban Decay Naked Skin, which is like one of my favourites. Another one of my favourites is the NARS Creamy Radiant Concealer. This is another one of my favourites. It's the Fenty Beauty um, Caramel Matchstick. And this is just such a perfect match to my skin tone. It's not a brightening concealer at all. Um, but it does match really nicely with my skin tone and gives me like a lot of coverage um, And then underneath oh, I have my I have my this used to be one of my favorites Which is a Mac Pro long wear concealer, but I don't really wear it some LA girl correctors And then over this side I have um, Powders and primers. I do have another powder somewhere, but I don't know where it is But I have this um, Translucent powder from Technique which they sent me they sent me a bunch of makeup to do a video Which will be going up very soon by the way. Um, I just need to get around to editing it. Okay, so I have my MAC Studio Fix 
um, powder foundation. My Ben Nye powder, which you can tell is literally one of my favorites. Like look how much of that I've used. And it's really affordable and I've literally had it for like almost a year. So it's really good. And then I have um, some primers and stuff. I'm not really like too big on primers. Like I just moisturize and then go straight in with foundation. For Makeup Forever, I have this, uh, this concealer camouflage palette. Mostly I mix these two shades and then sometimes I use the green as well. They're just really, really heavy really heavy coverage concealers and they are very brightening but you can literally see how thick and creamy they are so i do have to use them very lightly yeah that's pretty much everything for this straw um it's one of my favorites like foundation is one of my favorite steps of makeup yeah Fenty beauty my favorite next on to this next straw this is my favorite drawer out of all the drawers also excuse that you can see a lot of my schoolwork there just ignore that um but anyway so i'm going to go through what is in this drawer here so i'm going to start with hmm, we're going to start with what is back here so back here is my bronzers and my blushes so i do have so much drugstore i just find i actually really do like drugstore makeup if you find the right star but i do actually have a normal powder i have this like sleek um what is this called face form was elf contour and bronzer powder i don't think i've ever used this it has a blush in it but i just don't like the formula of this at all it's just really bad um obviously my all-time favorite which i literally use for about two years on youtube um is my bourgeois chocolate box bronzer i actually never use this anymore i just have to quickly mention primark powders and these are two pounds and i swear to you this is the only bronzer i use on an everyday basis i just love how like, warm it is it just feels so so nice like on my skin it really warms me up and they're two pounds like i have another one as well because i bought a backup so yeah you can see i've hit pan on this one because i've used it so much so i bought a backup and then this is the powder as well which is also really good they're definitely long lasting then i have a nyc one natural collection l'oreal um glam bronze some cream blushes at the back so obviously this one which i've mentioned in a few videos and i'm really excited to use these two shades like these will look really nice in winter and then i have some other blushes i've had these for literally years so I'm not going to go through them again. And then I have some contour sticks. So this is a new one. This is like a recent purchase. It's like completely ruined. What the hell? I've literally had this. I've literally had this for two days. And it's been completely ruined. I don't know why that's happened. Mine in the darker shade. And this is flipping incredible it's so so creamy it blends out like an absolute dream and just leaves you with an amazing contour bronze and then the highlight shade which i thought would be really bad but also this super super pretty maybelline master contour stick as well which is a little bit more cool toned so i don't really wear this too much um, but this one i definitely would recommend it then at the front here i have all my highlighters so of course i have my fenty beauty this is actually the contour and highlight so this one is the highlight shade in rum oh okay just scrape oh did it again and then the contour shade in truffle is i really do like this it's just really quite hard to work with because it dries matte so quick the other highlighter stick from maybelline this is so good by the way i literally went through a phase of loving this and then i have all my powder highlighters so i have the mary luminizer by the balm i'm not gonna lie i never use this it's just it is really good but it's just like i don't really like it it's too white a 17 shimmer block thing um these are the MUA ones i really do like this white one basically it looks like really white but when you actually swatch this one it's like such an amazing gold shade so pretty this one's a pink one so i don't really wear it of course my fenty beauty highlighter this is just something special oh so good it's very comparable i would say to the becca champagne pop highlighter this is also one of my favorites i pressed it down as much as i can favorite so glad i purchased it but everyone's has seemed to break okay and then down this side i have more sort of like palettes and that kind of stuff so at the front we have liquid highlighters so these are l'oreal that we got at the emmy set at beautycon this oh my god i cannot believe i haven't even talked about this yet the becca shimmering skin perfector liquid in champagne pop because i love the champagne pop so much and that the fact that it's in a liquid form literally makes it 10 times better then i have the Too Faced coco contour kit this is like this is like an all-time favorite it smells so good as well um selfie powders um this revolution ultra blush palette and then at the back um i have loads of the technique palette i will show you so there's a highlighting palette 
bronze palette, contour palette, and a blush palette. I just never reach for these, to be honest. They look really ashy on the skin, and they just look really, like, powdery. Like, they, they're not, like, silky and buttery. And then I have, oh, I can get it out, Revolution um, blush palette. This is so pretty, by the way. So this here is my eye drawer. This is also very, sort of, packed. Here I have a few palettes. I also have some lashes. I have some more lashes somewhere else, but I've just put them in a pot for now. But I have some like smaller eyeshadow palettes. Like what's back here? Like this Primark one, which I just never used. Push it back there. Um, I have an MUA one, Sleek one. There's two Naked Basics, which I don't really use except for these two shades. I mix it for my eyebrows. Um, Too Faced Cat Eye is such a pretty palette. I just don't get enough use out of it. I feel like there's just quite random colours in here. Um, and then this collection one as well. So I forgot to mention that these containers here, like with the split divide, are from Ikea. They are £1 each, which is just so cheap. So in here I have a Morphe yellow eyeshadow, which if I ever do a giveaway, I think I'm going to probably give these away because I've never used them. Um, so yeah, if you would like me to do a giveaway, maybe if I get to 5,000 subscribers, then I'll probably give these all away. I just don't really use them. I just have other palettes, you know what I mean? And then I have a glitter, a pink eyeshadow body shop, like single eyeshadows. This is actually Avani's. Avani's, I've literally had this for like a year and a half now. But I just keep forgetting. So Avani, if you're watching this video, um, hit me up. I have a MAC pigment, which I don't use. Um, NYX. Tame and Frame, this is good. Um, Maybelline colour tattoos, I'm not going to go through them. A gel pot eyeliner. And then my Anastasia dip prop. And then at the back I have mascaras and eyeliners. So literally, so obviously the this eyeliner is my favourite. But that's the glitter version, which is really bad. Like This is one of my favourite mascaras along with the L'Oreal. Which needs to be thrown out because look at it, it's like actually deformed. On to the next drawer. My lip drawer. This is my least favourite drawer. I just don't like the way it's set out. It's just very random. Kind of organised this like slightly but it will be confusing. So in here, I have liquid lipsticks. So I have my Huda Beauty, all my all my Kylie Jenner liquid lipsticks in there. And then I have my Kat Von D Lolita, which is like my favorite right now. A mini Burberry lipstick, this thing, which I got from Beautycom, an EOS lip balm at the back. Up here are lipsticks, which are dark. So it's like dark red. So we have this one here. Um, which is from L'Oreal, like a top shop one. Then I have all my Soap and Glory Sexy Mother Puckers. These are really, really nice. Um, can we just talk about, I can't even get them out. This was kind of a problem, can we? This was so stupid. Okay. This one is so pretty. It's like a clear gloss with glitter in it. Oh, like, can you see that? Then I have my MAC lipsticks. I literally have like 10 missing from here, I swear. Um, but I have Girl About Town, which was the first one I ever bought. Stupid mistake. Velvet Teddy, which is amazing. Um, amplified. Okay, so I'm missing Mare. I don't know where Mare is. Um, Mare is like one of my favourites. And then Viva Glam. Here I have some like, these are like creamy balm stains. And then the rest are like NYX soft matte lip creams. Like lip creams basically. So, and then obviously NYX. And then the Ciate. Believe it or not, I paid £17 for this and I've used it once. I'm gonna try and wear this in winter. If I say that, I probably won't. I have lip glosses in here and then some like lipsticks. Um, as you can tell, a lot of my stuff is drugstore. I just have to show you this. Literally, look at that for a lip gloss. It's actually seriously stunning. Um, this is by L'Oreal, by the way. It's a dazzle gloss in the shade Disco Ball. Next drawer eyeshadow palette so i have my my new chocolate bar palette i recently just got back into using this because i actually forgot about it so i just recently got back into it and i'm literally obsessed these this palette is so so good and i really want to get the new peaches eyeshadow palette i think I've also just all of the juvia's palace magic i forgot what it's called but it's oh i'm so excited for when that comes because i'm going to do so many looks with it new palette basic no one likes that the Kylie Cosmetics one, which is one of my most used. Um, the mattes in here are insane. These two shades, like, I don't know what happened to Kylie when she was making these shades. On the eye, this is disgusting. It just looks dirty on your eye. So I'm really, really not a fan of just these two colours. Like, the gold is nice. That's nice. The mattes are 
insane like the, one of the best mattes i've ever tried um carly bible palette i literally went through a huge phase of using this and i just never really use it anymore and then obviously my most used palette in the world i want to get some more morphe palettes i'm looking at a few at the moment but out of stock this is obviously my most used palette ever my favorite palette I cracked out this one i just used up because i use it for my eyebrow shade so that's why that's gone this palette is just so good i also have this palette from technique that they gave me and it just looks like that this one as well which looks like that i don't really use yeah okay that is 